He's not happy. Hello YouTube. Um, somewhere a bit different today. You might be able to tell by my non-camouflaged stealthy gear that I'm wearing. Um, I'm out at the beach today and I'm doing a wild camp at a little secluded beach just tucked along the coast. So um, I'm just going to be heading out in the kayak. So it's going to be a kayak wild camp as per obviously the title of the video. Uh, but I'm not on my own. Um, I'm down here today with Carl Hello. from Dartmoor Explorer. If you haven't seen Carl's channel, I'll put a link in the description below. Have a click on that, go and say hello. Um, I did want to do this camp because of Carl's video. So he did just a kayak trip out, went on the coast and just found this little secluded sort of beach in a cove. And there's a little dry area where you can camp. So we decided to do that. We have got a ridiculous amount of gear. We are a bit concerned that it's actually going to float. <laughs> there isn't actually anywhere, there's nowhere on, on Carl's kayak for it to sit, but it uh, should be fun. So hopefully, the next bit you see will be us out in the water. Fingers crossed. So you have to excuse the mic quality, I'm just using the GoPro mic as it is. Because uh, obviously I need it to be waterproof. <coughs> and it's quite choppy out here. So hopefully you can hear me. Whoa, shit. <laughs> I said, whoa, shit. I just nearly flipped me. I would have been happy with a short route, you know. We've got some seals over here. Basket on the rocks. Not that there's much sun to bask in. One of over to Salo. You can see, and there's a few asleep just there on the rocks, and one bobbed underneath us somewhere. It's a fair old swell, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Hey! Especially when my back end goes in afterwards, it just sort of drops down. Before we go to our camp spot, we're going to just go and uh, explore this little cove right in front of us here. Just have a little breather, maybe a beer, and then head back to where we're going to camp. It's nice and secluded, no one can get to it. As you can see, there's no land attached to it to get out proper rock there so unless you swim around or on a boat you won't make it. All right, let's go and have a look. Get your leg over. Time to empty the kayak. It's a weird little cutout, isn't it? It's like a doorway. I don't know what that is, some kind of weird bricked up tunnel down there. 
looks like it goes down underneath it, but can't bother to check it out. Hopefully you can hear me okay, especially in this echo. Um, obviously I haven't got my mic on, so I'm trying to keep the uh, camera waterproof, so I've just got the standard mic that's on the, on the GoPro. This is a beautiful little spot though. Shame we can't camp here really, because I think the tide will come in and we'll get a bit wet. Awesome spot though. left that cove. I'm just gonna head back around the corner here now and hopefully get a camp. So we finally made it. We're up on the uh, where we we're going to camp anyway, by the beach. Absolutely stunning spot. The sun is just breaking through up there, which would be nice. But we're on this lovely little flat, level section of grass. Down here, there's a lovely little cove, which you might go and explore in a bit. And over there's Dawlish. And over there's Exmouth, where I live. Hello family. Oh, I'm going to have a bit of a chill out. It's nice walking on grass, barefoot. My uh, water shoes are just completely full of grit and gravel, so I've been ripping my feet apart walking up and down there. So yeah, chill out for a bit, get a tent up. Right, I'm all set up. I'm in the uh, Taiji 2 tonight. I do think this is my favourite tent to be honest with you. I love the colour, the look, the shape, the space inside it. It's great. I've sorted out the um, the leak that I had in it originally. So um, I've seam sealed all the guy out, or the not guy out points, but the tie out points on the uh, poles at the top. So I'm not going to get a leak now. Um, Carl is out in the Lux Hex Peak, is it? Yeah. Lux Hex Peak. Um, so yeah, nice little tent that. I do like the Lux Hex Peak, but I just don't fit in it. It's too small. So the kayaks are tied up at the top here and we're hoping that the sea doesn't come up any further than that. Fingers crossed, who knows. Look, merch, hashtag, leave no trace. Um, I got approached by a company who um, have basically given me an amount of money to buy some of my own merchandise equipment and they have their own online shop so I've bought some 
um, and I've got a, a, a hoodie, a t-shirt, a few other bits, got some bits from my son, he loves it, um, so you can brand it whichever way you want. Um, and I'm not expecting anyone watching my videos to start buying Novice World Camper branded equipment because it's got Novice World Camper on it, I'm not that big headed. But if you are in the market for a hoodie, sweat top, a cap, t-shirts whatever really nice quality I, I really do like this um but i've got quite a few there's even a little little something special for the ladies um so if you want to take a look at the website i'll put a link in the description below um i do make a bit of commission out of it but it's pretty decent stuff so if you are say only if you're in the market for a, a new hoodie or a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or shorts or whatever it might be that i've got on there then uh, if you do want to buy it feel free thank you very much it all helps to uh to go towards the channel and help me with future reviews um, and videos coming up so anyway i'm gonna get some food on now it is uh, nearly eight o'clock it's quite late but we've been enjoying the evening having a beer and having a chat so i'll get my grub on and i'll see you in a bit so i've got a new piece of kit to try out tonight which i'm sure is going to work very very well um my flames creed quilt that i've got that i got from outdoor gear essentials sent from cole uh which is great um it is a <laughs> <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> Did you get that? No, nah, I turned it and then it caught. Sorry, you're going to have to do it again now. It's alright. Suppose you do yours. <laughs> I'll just hang my n over the top of your camera. <laughs> so I've got a new piece of equipment to try out tonight. Um, obviously my uh, Flames Creed quilt that I got from, uh, from Cole from uh, Outdoor Gear Essentials is great um it is i think it goes down to about zero as a comfort rating it's a baffled wool quilt it is very warm it's really really good i've yet to try it out in colder temperatures but i've had it down to single figures and it's been very comfortable but aegis max have uh, con contacted me and they have sent me the wind tiny quilt the words tiny and me generally don't tend to go together i always get xl extra long wide just so that i can fit into things um but i've tried this quilt at home and i'm quite impressed with it it's stitched through it's not baffled so it's not going to be as warm it's, it's comfort say is from plus seven to plus two as a limit of comfort um but what is quite impressive is the size of this thing it is it's smaller than my pillow um it weighs i think it's 450 grams i put it on the screen uh, and i'll also put on the screen the weight of the uh, flames creed one they're not really direct competitors because this is really a summer quilt. But if I can camp in the summer with something this big, it, it is absolutely tiny. I'm going to love it. I say I've tried it out. Once it's lofted up, it's fantastic. But to pack down so small and lightweight is unbelievable. It's also the right colour for you, Karen. Get one. Matches your hair. My dinner is on. You'll be surprised to know that I've got some uh, sukiyaki beef noodles. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, Carl's going posh. He's going all. Uh, he's going all out steak. It's only a thin one. Only a thin steak, but steak and what else? I'm going to do some mac and cheese later. Mac and, and che um, later. Pasta, what yeah. a pudding? For pudding. <laughs> steak and then mac and cheese later on. I've got some cherry bake rolls for pudding. Oh, that's that, that's like the devil's sperm. That is cherry bake rolls. I can't stand those. <laughs> Not for me either. <laughs> yeah, no, they're like the one thing I really, really hate. I uh, can't stand cherry, cherry bake rolls. Um, however, he is using my uh, my gas stove because with, with the, all the gear that he's got and the, the 800 litre backpack that's in his bag, he didn't bring a gas stove with him. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, I'll have half the steak. Well, this uh, fire gel powder stuff. I'm gonna give that a go tonight. Watching bear grills at work. Teddy bear grills. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give this a go. That's not working. I wanted to try and do it a little bit bushcrafty. Stop that, isn't it? Lights well. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. 
fast back to Trey. This better catch the night because I've only got one of them. <laughs> oh, is that uh, film that? I was in the way of the camera, then mine's on. Oh, is that? <laughs> Gee, no. Hand gel works. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well we've um, had quite a few beers and ciders. Uh, the fire is just dying down now, smoke's blowing over here, but uh, it's, it's now midnight. So I'm going to hit the sack, and if nothing else happens, then I will see you guys in the morning. I'm not hitting your sack. You should be so lucky. See you in the morning. Good morning. It's um, just gone six o'clock. Set the alarm for six to catch the sunrise, which uh, that's not going to happen. It's very, very cloudy. This is a thick carpet of, uh, of cloud. It's not going to, not going to get any kind of sunrise this morning, which is a shame. But um, didn't have a great night's sleep last night. There's a bit of work going on, on the railway behind us, and uh, and there's also a lot of light from it as well. So yeah, and a sporadic sleep, so not uh, not ideal. But I'm um, recovering with the coffee. Okay, so this is normally the part of the video where I go, this is me all packed up, leave no trace, see you on the next video. But it's not finished yet. Um, we are packed up, ready to go. Uh, but I'm going to do a bit of filming of the kayak along the coast now. The sun has come out. It is absolutely stunning now. It's beautiful. It's so warm. Shame it wasn't like this last night, but uh, tonight would be a better camp for it. But yeah, everything's cleared up, packed up, leave no trace. Leave no trace. Um, obviously, we had a fire last night. There was a fire there already. That has been obviously used several times in the past before, so um, that's not from us, but we did have a fire last night. It's all burnt out and sorted, so that's all clear and done. Right, I'm gonna get the uh, get the kayak set up. Carl's down there already. And then get in the water. Looks a bit calmer today. There's quite a few swells yesterday coming across, so uh, hopefully I won't get as flooded as I did on the way out. So wake you up if you're not already. Shot silhouetted in the sun. He's not happy. Handbrake turn. 
Okay, so I'm back on the uh, back on the beach, safe and sound. Made it, still alive to tell the tale. Um, had a really, really good trip. First ever kayak trip, proper kayak trip and camp. Uh, and it was fantastic. Sun this morning, weather is just beautiful. So yeah, just uh, thank you, Carl. Oh, thank so, you, thank you for coming. Carl from uh, Dartmoor Explorer. So if you haven't seen his channel, I'll put a link in the description down below. Go and check him out, say hello, um, for, to thank him for showing me his special spot. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> not the G one, but uh, yeah, no, it was just a really good camp. We had a good laugh last night. A few drinks, didn't we? Yeah. We came back several several kilos lighter. <laughs> Every train has gone past has had like three carriages until I'm talking, and one goes past with a hundred carriages on the back of it. Uh, so yeah, well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and I will see you guys on the next one.